what's going on guys so today is the big day today's the day that i'm gonna install my axles ups is not here yet and uh, i'm gonna set everything up i'm gonna get everything ready for the axle install i'm charging my power tool batteries so what i'm gonna do is i need to go to autozone to go rent uh, the slide hammer and i have to rent a bearing puller for the axles so i'm gonna do that right now and I'm gonna set the whole car up before UPS gets here. And once UPS gets here, I'm gonna install the axles, guys. So stick around. I'm back from AutoZone. And these are the tools that I'm gonna be using. I don't have a slide hammer, obviously, so I had to rent it. So it doesn't, there it is, the slide hammer. And I got the rear axle bearing remover set right here. Those are the only tools that I'm renting. So yeah, I'm still waiting for UPS. All right, so I'm gonna pull the car out, pull the wheels off, take the drum, the drums off, drain the differential fluid. off as you guys could tell so these are the Moser Ac Moser lug nut studs that I was that I showed in my last video and these are a little longer than the stock ones and the reason that I got them a little longer is because I'm running a 1 4th inch spacer from our for my wheel and this provides a little bit more thread for the lug nut to hold on to so check this out look how much longer it is it's not that much longer but check it out a little longer than hold on something like this there you go just a little longer but the product number i'm going to put it up on the screen right now for you guys so yeah look a little longer so i'm still waiting for the for the axles to come in um ups is not here yet but i'm going to take all this stuff off i'm going to drain everything and i'll get back to you guys all right rear differential cover is off i'm just cleaning cleaning everything up uh let me show you guys there it is. I gotta clean it up. It's a little messy in there. But yeah, those are my 373 gears in there. Um, again, UPS is not here yet. So I'm just gonna get everything ready. I'm gonna remove the axles and stuff like that. All right, guys, so the differential is off. I cleaned everything. Everything is ready. Check this out. The mating surface is completely clean. My hands are a little shaky, but yeah, let me show you the cover. I'm running the stock cover. So let me show you that's ready. Cleaned up. Check it out. Completely clean. So the only thing that I'm waiting on now, guys, is the UPS guy. The UPS guy is taking his sweet time today but I guess I have to wait now I have to take the axles off and uh, bearings and seals off I'm gonna do all that right now while I wait for the UPS guy all right guys so I took the sleep clips out I had trouble with one of the sleep clips I have no idea why it took me a while to take the last one out but it did but here they are so time to take the axle axles out <coughs> I'm gonna replace the seals and stuff, so I really don't, I really don't care how these come out. So, so here they are. So 
So here are both the axles. I took both of them out. Check it out, guys. And they are 28 spline, obviously because they're stock. So I'm still waiting for the UPS guy. He's taking his sweet time today. All right, guys, I got the seals and the bearings out. It was really, really easy to do. I have the tools for it. Like I said, I, like I mentioned earlier, I rented. But yeah, uh, the old seals are in here somewhere. With both sides taken out. Very easy, very easy. But look at that. Check that out. But uh, UPS is not here yet. I'm still waiting on UPS. All right, guys. So the moment of truth, the UPS guy just dropped off my axles these are the 28 spline moser axles i did not upgrade to the 31 spline because i mean honestly i don't have the money for it and this car is going to be mostly driven on the street i've never been on the track I, have, I don't even own a pair of slicks for this car so this fits my budget and it fits the the path i want to take with this car so i know a lot of you guys are going to be like why don't you go 31 you know, it's easier, you have everything out. I understand that. But the thing is, the differential was rebuilt when I bought the car. So the differential is in good working condition and I honestly just needed the axles. So I just went with the Moser 28 spline. So I'm gonna open these up and show you guys and compare them to the stock ones and see how it goes. All right guys, let's see what's, in, what's inside the box. I haven't opened it yet. The axles themselves, check this out. So I'm going to compare them to the stock ones in a bit, but they look, they look nicer than the stock ones I have. So let's compare them. All right guys, so this is the comparison versus the stock one. Obviously you could tell which one the stock one is. This is the stock one, this is the Moser. So the splines themselves, the stock ones, they're shorter. These are a little longer. And this has a taper. So it thins out and then it gets thicker right here. This is a non-tapered axle. So it's basically the same length all the way across all the way across and it prog progressively gets thicker here and the diameter obviously is bigger and check this out this it gets bigger right here and then it gradually increases right here compared to the other one this one it's it's a thicker portion of it compared to this it's thick right here it gradually goes down so check that out guys look you could even tell this is like way more beefier than the stock one but yeah that's it guys this is not the tapered one but well, let's, let's look at the front oh another thing I noticed as well is that the flanges are a little thicker on the Moser. Okay. It's a little thinner, it's a little thicker. But yeah guys, I'm really excited. I'm gonna put these in. And um, that's honestly, I think this is the end of the video because it's taking me all day to film it and do film it and then put the parts in and it's kind of, it's hard. So I'm gonna let you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys liked the comparison I did for anybody that is looking to get the 28 spline axles. So imagine the 31, you know, is way more thicker than this. But I think this is a nice upgrade. But that's it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Talk to you guys later, peace out.